Nowadays, when a Jewish holiday rolls around, our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter feeds light up with wishes for a healthy and sweet new year. You might think the holiday greetings craze is a recent phenomenon, a feature of our social media era. But in fact, high holiday greetings date back centuries and make for an interesting chapter in Jewish history. And the mothership of all holiday greetings? That would be the Rosh Hashanah card, the Shana Toiva. Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year, aka everyone's favorite time to dip an apple in honey. Most people are familiar with how it's celebrated, in a synagogue, with long services that include blowing the shofar. But for the last couple of centuries, a popular way Ashkenazi Jews have commemorated the holiday is through Shana Toiva cards. What's the origin behind this New Year well-wishing craze, and how has it developed over the years? Shana Toivas first popped up back in Germany in the 1400s. Back then, they were written by hand on fancy personal stationery. And then, in the 1860s, the postcard was invented, and greeting cards for Christmas and the Christian New Year really took off. It was just a matter of time before Jews followed suit, and the printed Shana Toiva caught fire. Almost overnight, Ashkenazi Jews in America, Europe, Russia, and Palestine, later Israel, were sending thousands of them back and forth, filled with handwritten notes and blessings for the New Year. Shana Toivas usually depicted scenes of traditional Jewish life, Jews attending prayer services in synagogues, holidays, children in Cheder, Hebrew school, people getting married, and so on. Occasionally, scholars, rabbis, and scenes from the Bible were included. The biggest name in the New Year card publishing game was Chaim Goldberg, a Polish poet and writer. Goldberg created colorful cards that were pretty straightforward, but some of his peers incorporated bizarre visuals like chickens with human heads and angels conversing with young Jewish boys and girls in heaven dressed in their holiday best. Goldberg worked with his wife, Esther, on the cards. First, he staged scenes in his studio with actors and photographed them. Then he used the photos as a template to paint the cards. Lastly, he added rhyming greetings in Yiddish, which he composed himself. In this style, the Goldbergs came up with new cards every year, only stopping when Chaim was forced to move into the Bialystok ghetto in 1941. He and Esther both died in the Holocaust, but not before leaving behind a legacy of greeting cards that exude cheer and Yiddish warmth. While handwritten Rosh Hashanah cards are not entirely gone in 2019 and are still used in some ultra-religious communities, today's well-wishers tend to send their messages electronically. A Shana Toiva today might include memes poking fun at how some American Jews might know more about the latest iPhone than a standard Jewish holiday. Parody videos spoofing popular songs to deliver New Year's wishes. An episode of a beloved series that's set on Rosh Hashanah. Well, are you going to wait for us? Wait, it's going to be an hour and a half. Well, how are we going to get home? We Sir. carpooled with you. Tweets from Jewish and non-Jewish celebrities alike and pre-recorded tapings from late-night TV hosts. Today is Rosh Hashanah, which means all our Jewish writers stayed home today. <laughs> Rosh Hashanah. And even sitting presidents. On behalf of all Americans, I want to wish Jewish families many blessings in the new year. From my family to yours, Shana Tova. In this way, these so-called cards retain the soul of the OG Shana Tova while getting a makeover to keep up with the times. Each Jewish generation makes their New Year's greetings their own, while taking notes and ideas, however subtle, from previous generations. In this way, the evolution of the Shana Toiva serves as a microcosm of Jewish tradition as a whole, a dynamic conversation that spans generations and adds new chapters to the unfolding Jewish story. Which leaves us with the question, how do you celebrate the Jewish New Year? Thanks for watching. The story of the Yiddish Shana Toivas originally appeared in an article by the Yiddish Forward, written by Rami Nudorfer, linked below. If you like what we're doing here, consider subscribing. And if there's something you want us to tackle in an upcoming video, let us know in the comments.